seen that man before. So who is he? Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review. I just got done seeing Madam Web, which is the newest film in the Sony universe of Spider-Man characters or whatever it's called, I don't know. Um, yeah, um, you're probably not surprised to hear me say this, but this movie's not good. Uh, <laughs> uh, so why did I pay money to see this movie when everyone has been saying it's not good and obviously by the trailers you could just tell it's not good. Um, me personally, I haven't been in the movies in like two months because there just hasn't been anything, you know, playing that I was interested in. So I just really wanted to go to the movies again. And as you guys know, I would go to see every Marvel movie anyways. Um, but this is probably the worst Marvel movie I've ever seen. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, I'll just say this. It's not like um, Batman and Robin level bad. Like, that's probably the worst movie you know, that movie's notorious for being one of the worst movies ever made. But to me, that's probably the worst superhero movie that's ever been made. And I wouldn't say this is that bad. But this movie was so, 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 so cheesy. Like, it's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> so, this universe of movies, which consists of, you know, Venom 1 and 2 and Morbius, has obviously not had a good track record, okay? All these movies are cheesy. The Venom movies, I really like the Venom movies. Um, they're just totally, they're just fine. They're okay, they're totally fine. You know, I enjoy them. Um, Morbius obviously is not good. I uh, notoriously gave that a seven, you know, when I reviewed it. Because um, <laughs> a seven to me is like a C, you know, like a C minus, whatever. Um, now in retrospect, I would probably say Morbius is more like a six. Um, this movie, I would also probably give like a six, you know. It's not, like, totally terrible, like I mentioned. Um, and if you guys watch my videos, you know I'm very generous when it comes to scores anyway. So giving this movie a 6 is probably, like, high for most people. Like, they're probably... You're probably thinking, like, I'm crazy. But to me, a 6 is, like, a D. Like, a, a, a D minus, whatever. You know, it's, it's not a good score by any means. But, again, it's not terrible. Like, Batman and Robin, for instance, is, like, a 3. Or, like, maybe a 2. Like, Batman and Robin's terrible. Um, <laughs> so, um, this movie does have some redeemable qualities, you know, Dakota Johnson and the whole cast, they actually, um, none of their acting is really bad necessarily, um, it's just the script is so bad, like, the script is terrible, um, the movie has a lot of ADR problems, you know, dialogue, you know, like, dubbing, obviously, when, you know, they do this in every movie, when a character is, you know, there's dub there's lines dubbed in for like when a character you see like the back of their head and they're talking you know actors dub in lines all the time it's called adr and the adr in this movie is terrible like it's terrible um especially with the main villain my god the main villain in this film he is so like he's the cheesiest part of the movie and like i feel like 90 percent of his lines were adr and it's terrible like <laughs> it's this felt like um this like this felt like a feature length movie by the CW. Like it felt like that. Um, I can't believe this is the same studio that made Across the Spider Verse. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I can't believe it. Like obviously that's an animated film and different people worked on it. Obviously, but like Sony, like this is a billion dollar company, and this is the this is the cheapest piece of shit movie. You know what I mean? Like this movie. <laughs> is so cheaply made it's not even funny um i don't know what the budget is for it you know um but like i said there are some redeemable qualities like you know none of the acting is necessarily bad um all the actors do fine you know even dakota johnson everyone makes fun of you know that line from the trailer you know um which isn't in the final movie by the way so don't worry about it um <laughs> um about you know my mom was well, what's the line? Um, he was with my mom in the Amazon when she was researching spiders right before she died. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, <laughs> the infamous line from the trailer. Um, and a lot of the characters, I actually really enjoyed a lot of the characters. Like uh, Cassie, the main character, Cassie Webb, um, Dakota Johnson. Sure, her character, I actually like her character. Um, and Adam Scott plays. I won't say who. You'll you'll see why I won't say who. 
Um, she, I liked his character too. You know, she's uh, partners with him. They're both. Um, uh, they both work. Um, I guess first responders. You know, they're uh, medics. I guess for they drive an ambulance. You know, um, they're they're good in the movie. I like them together. They're great. Um, Sydney Sweeney, Celeste O'Connor, and the other girl. I don't know her name. The three girls that are um, spider women, essentially, um, which is not a spoiler, you know. And don't expect much of that, by the way, because <laughs> don't expect much of that. Trust me. Um, them being spider women, do not expect much of that. They were good in the movie. I like their chemistry together. You know, again, it's nothing. It's nothing out of this world. Um, so, like I said, Morbius is a six. This is a six. I would ra probably rather watch this movie than Morbius, but at the end of the day, I feel like Morbius is probably a better made movie, you know? And that's really saying something, because, you know, that movie was so generic. Um, also, this film has no um, post credit scene or mid credit scene, so once the movie ends, you could just go, you know, don't worry about it. Um, and I gotta say too, my probably my least favorite thing about this movie, aside from the villain, because he was so stock and generic already, um, and poorly written, obviously, and you know the ADR. Um, aside from him, my least favorite thing about this movie was the last like action set piece. It was so bad, like it was. The special effects were terrible. You know, the action wasn't even that great. Um, it was just, it was just bad. Um, yeah. So, um, I honestly don't have much else to say about this movie. Um, if you're a Marvel fan, you're probably going to see it, you know, even if you are a Marvel fan, you might not see it because I feel like a lot of people are just not going to see this movie. I feel like it's going to bomb, you know, um, again, I went to see it cause I see every Marvel movie anyway. And you know, I haven't, I haven't been in the movies in a minute, so I just wanted to go to the movies again. Um, yeah, this was, this was not good, so, <laughs> um, again, I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10, that's probably really generous, but, uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say, the story of this movie, basically, a guy wants revenge on, um, well, it's not even revenge, he's trying to hunt down the three spider women for a particular reason, um, I won't say what, but, uh, and basically Cassie, Madam Web, is, is trying to protect them, she can see the future and whatnot, um, but yeah, that's really, that's really it. I mean, this movie is not good. So yeah, um, I'm not going to do a spoiler section because there's not really much to say. Um, but I guess I'll say once you see the movie, there is a certain thing that I didn't know was in it, um, involving Emma Roberts. I didn't know Emma Roberts was in this movie, by the way. Um, once you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's a thing involving Emma Roberts' character, and that was a surprise to me. I was like, oh, okay. That is good for this universe, because this universe needed that. And, again, I don't know if they're gonna really expand upon that, because the movie does take place in 2003, so, you know, I guess once it catches up to modern times, you know, this certain thing I'm talking about will be present in the next few movies. Because there's going to be two more movies this year, uh, Craven the Hunter and Venom 3. So it's crazy that this universe is getting three movies this year, whereas Marvel Studios is only getting one, you know, Deadpool and Wolverine, which, again, I've mentioned before, that is my most hyped film for the year, obviously. And that trailer was incredible. Um, I should have did a reaction to it, but I had to work, you know, that day. You know, it came out, I was at work, and I couldn't help myself. I just had to watch the trailer. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, the night of the Super Bowl. Um, yeah. So, anyways, um, that's really about it. Uh, again, I don't have a lot to say. So, yeah. Um, you're not missing much if you skip this movie. So, <laughs> um, let me know your thoughts of the film in the comments. And um, happy Valentine's Day. And uh, how would you rank the, the four movies so far in this universe? For me, Venom 1's the best, then Venom 2, then Morbius, <laughs> and then uh, this one. So, yeah, um, that's really about it. So thank you guys for watching, and have a good one. Bye-bye.